We are backstage at the Brumley Gospel Sing at the Maybe Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. With me, a gospel music legend. This is Archie Watkins of The Inspirations. Archie, welcome to Gospel Music Today. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. I was just thinking when you said the Maybe Center, we came here in 1973 and sang with the Happy Goodman family and The Inspirations. Wow. Uh, it was called the Battle of Songs. Mm -hmm. It was promoted by J.G. Whitfield and W.B. Nallon. Really? Yes, sir. We they, go back they, a long way. <laughs> they didn't live in this area. No. Uh, W.B. lived in Fort Worth, mm -hmm. and J.G. Whitfield lived in Pensacola. Oh. He was well known for starting the Gospel Singing Jubilee and the right. Florida Boys. and right. He was a famous promoter. And... Uh, the Happy Goodman family and the inspirations were uh, really be, being successful yeah. in concerts. So they decided to do a year tour in 1973, and we worked every Friday and Saturday night together. With those two groups? For a year, yes, sir. And the inspirations were part of the uh, gospel singing jubilee? Yes, sir. We... Uh, we sang there the first time in 1967. We started singing in 1964, and we had the Florida boys come to Bryson City and sing at the high school auditorium uh, in 67. And uh, we, we talked them into letting us sing on the Jubilee. <laughs> and uh, they had us come over and do a, a guest appearance. The Spear family was supposed to be there. And some of those family were, were sick, and Les Beasley called, and and we uh, we took off from school, <laughs> and we had a little white van. We mm -hmm. rode all night mm -hmm. to get to Nashville mm -hmm. to tape the gospel singing Jubilee. Mm -hmm. First song we sang on there was Dottie Rambo's song on the sunny banks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You have a good memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For, so, sometimes I will ask people uh, what what got them involved in gospel music. You know, especially people that have been around for yeah. a while. And I hear that gospel singing jubilee television program yeah. Yeah. really influenced a lot. Of oh, people. it did. Yeah. It helped. It helped a lot of people. Yeah. We were in the seventies. We were singing at Oklahoma City. And a man came up to me. I'll never forget this. He said, uh, I want to thank you all for singing on the gospel, singing Jubilee. He said, I'd quit church. And he said, I was really discouraged. And said, I, I started watching the gospel, singing Jubilee. And the Lord dealt with me. And I started going back to church. You know, we hear things like that all the time. That, you know? that, that's really wonderful. That's what it's all about. I know it. That is great. Mm -hmm. The Inspirations have a new CD, mm -hmm. and I know that it's the traditional Inspirations sound. And I do, I want to ask you about that because with all the changes and all the things that have happened in gospel music since 1964, mm -hmm. uh, you've stayed pretty much true mm -hmm. to that Inspirations sound. Yeah. Uh, we, we learned when we started singing in 1964, uh, none of us knew you know, what to do, how to sing, really. And, you know, being from the Smoky Mountains, it's kind of born in you. You know, most people pick or sing, you yeah. know. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, all our families would get together and pick and sing. And, and it was kind of a thing where, uh, you know, we just were, were doing it for pleasure. And we wanted maybe, you know, to concentrate on doing it right. Mm -hmm. And Martin Cook was playing the piano. He had just finished college and was teaching school there. And he said, I had a music professor that could maybe give us some tips on what to do. So he stopped and talked to him and, uh, up at Western Carolina University. And the next time we practiced, he said, I talked to the professor, and he said, two things you need to do. He said, be yourself. Don't copy anybody. Mm -hmm. And enunciate. Yeah, yeah. 
He said, if you'll concentrate on those two things, everything else will be okay. So we went to work on saying my and I and <laughs> of and yeah. our vows. He said, say your vows. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, my wife says, how can you sing so proper and talk so poorly? He said, you <laughs> destroy the English language <laughs> when you talk. And we, you know, yeah. we're mountain people. Yeah. You know, I say far instead of fire. Mm -hmm. But when I sing, I say fire. Yeah. You know, uh, some morning you'll find me touring that city. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't talk that way, yeah. but we sing that way. And we, we really put a lot of uh, attention to that. We help each other. You know, I remember we were in a recording studio recording... I'm Bound for That City, featured the bass and, and myself. And I, being a mountain boy, I said crystal, you know. And that's all I'd ever heard it called instead mm -hmm. of crystal, mm -hmm. you know. And Troy and Mike Holcomb, Troy Burns and Mike Holcomb said, uh, you're not saying that right, you know. And... I said, oh, I am so. <laughs> and I had to get, they had to ask somebody in the studio there, the engineer or producer or somebody. And I, you know, and I was just set in that because that's all I'd ever heard, you know, yeah. growing up. Yeah. People in the mountains said, Christian, you know, <laughs> the Christian Sea. Yeah. And we helped each other that way. If you listen to our albums, you know, uh, you'll you'll hear us say, my mm -hmm. and of, you know, and that's what made us different. Yeah. You know, that makes a difference in our singing because people tell us more people come by at the, at the quartet convention and mention that than anywhere else mm -hmm. we go. They come by and say, thanks for enunciating your words where we can understand the message. Yeah. Because that's what it's all about. Well, that's exactly right. When you hear an inspiration song, you hear every you single You hear the word, word. Yeah. yeah. That is beautiful. That's, that's the most important thing about gospel music. Yeah. It's, it's the gospel. It oh, needs to be right. heard. That's right. You know, the message needs to be yeah. heard. Well, the new CD, The One in the Water by the Inspirations, and uh, Archie Watkins, we want to thank you very much for being with us on gospel music today. Thank you for what you do for gospel music.